Hello everybody and welcome to my how to color curly hair tutorial. Now, for this method can work in any version of Photoshop. If you have CS6 or any other CS or even Elements, even Photoshop 7 if you have that old of a version, it can work in this. So, first off I like to have my base color, background color first. I usually, in my overall pictures, I have my background done first, so when I color it in, it can look. I can notice no little flaws, so when I don't finish the, this, and then the background, but oh, I have to erase all of this. If you get what I mean, but if you prefer it the other way, then that's totally okay. So I already have the block colored in, and let's get started. So we're going to go to the burn tool with a little hand. Make sure the range is on mid tones and then make the brush. I prefer the mid soft brush in about. Here we go. And then we brush lower strands of hair like that. Now there's a lot more to this than just, well, not all of it, but you know, there's a lot more to shade in and all that. And this method. I can get get can work with a lot of other hair colors, but it can be kind of hard with some. I know with blondes, it's really hard actually. You gotta color in that transition part. It can be really hard with blondes, and it works pretty well with redheads. And I know with the ex the the shade extra shade part, it did not work well with blondes or redheads. So that was unpleasant. So. Gotta quickly get. This probably won't take too long of a method, especially since we're doing one strand. I know with one, you can work on just like one ringlet and do the whole thing, or you can go by a per strand. I know when I'm doing a full head of curly hair, I can get. I will color all. I'll finish one ringlet, go to another, and like shade all at once. So, <laughs> but really. I don't know, I get pretty scatterbrained when I do curly hair because it's so much fun! So, yeah, I like curly hair coloring. So, mid, make sure it's on mid tones, okay? Just with brown, with uh, brunettes, with redheads. There is also, um, doing the next step may be a bit difficult. Now I have a this is just a practice doodle, then I'm not going to be picky, picky about any missing spot or overlapping spot. Even then with the uh, quick background, sometimes you still make those mistakes, but you can always go over them. So since I'm doing a one ring at a time, and that's our basic, now we're going to go with the range down to shadows. This is where it can look like really gray with blondes or really weird with redheads and you kind of edge it here. Actually I'm going to test the soft one. And you go just the edges. This will depend on the lighting. I'm just going to do quick simple lighting like this. Go I usually go all dark with the transition work, transition to curls, bring it. Um, this is probably not the most accurate ring strand of ringlet, but it's more like the straight hair curled anime look that this method does work with. And the other styles now. There's so many different ways to do things in art that there's no official way. It really depends on preference. This one's a more simple style, so I don't think it should, it shouldn't be too difficult. So that's what I'm doing here. As you can see in the navigation, although it's probably small, that it's already kind of getting more depth to it all. Depth 
but there's still more to be done to make it really shine out. No, I'm probably being more lazy about this than I should. And draw hair like a pro. No digital art hair contest. Well, no. So, bam! It's a simple, easy thing. I'm not saying I got it perfect right off the bat, but if you're able to, you know, really make your hair a whole lot better with this method, then that's awesome. But if not, then that's okay. Alright, bam! Look at this curly hair. Yeah. Bam! Look at this beauty. I know I really outdid myself when I first tested this method. I'm going to do a little more extra at the edges. Just real quick back and forth. It's okay to go before I help the edges like this. Just keep going. Just keep going. That's what you do. You go. 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 Yeah, I, this, if it's want enough, I can do a video where I will about drawing curly hair and not just an anime-ish form but in a natural form. So I'm going to do the highlight parts now that we're done with this for now. You can either hit the alt button on the dodge oh, and, 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 uh, the alt button to get your highlights your mid-tones or you can hit the dodge tool. I prefer the dodge tool. Mid-tones And, by the way, yeah, so you want to do mid-tones and then shadows, it hasn't, doesn't really do anything. And 100% exposure, unless you want to do something like that. And then I do this, the dodge tool. There's mid-tones, there's shadows, no, well, let's see, yeah, let's test for shadows, actually. It's more of a whitish. So you want to do the shadows with um, the second go. It's also a good method to go back and forth with. You can just go back and forth, not just by stirring. You can go back and forth with this one because it works. Now this is one way you can just better do it from a distance. So you know, go more with the lower the curl. around here and a different one. And then shadows. Oh, that did not work out. Undo. Highlights. How about that? Oh no. If you want to do more of a white look, you can always go with the brush. You can have about Well, it depends on the size of the brush, and then the really light brown. Opacity lowered, and the flow down the surface is going to be exactly 50. Yeah. Usually I haven't been able to do get the white effect with the brush since element, so... If you find that, and then from a distance, that looks really awesome. Actually, I'm going to add, I'm going to kind of darken it more. Back with mid-tones. I need to study from a distance, so it looks better from a distance. Just kind of tweak. Nope, shadows. Add more contrast. It looks really good the more contrast you add. Um, actually that's about it. It looks better from a distance. And I'll show you a full example of a full head. Where's my mouse? Okay, there's... Uh, here we go. This is what a completed product looks like. I hope this was helpful, although this could definitely use a bit more contrasting. Now let's get more some contrasting in a bit. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, I'd appreciate you to give it a little thumbs up, give it a like, 
and if you share it a bit if you know someone who wants to know how to do it i appreciate it because i like helping people so and if you liked this video and would like more hit the subscribe button for i will be doing more art videos so i appreciate if you could give me a subscribe and so you can get more art videos if you don't want to then you know i can't force you i don't want to force you anyway <laughs> so thank you for watching hope this was helpful and for future videos tell me what you would like this is my first video so i'll be doing some more videos like this i'll be doing some speed paints and time lapse drawing i can also well, do some traditional art tutorials as well for those who are not into digital it's a whole lot better with the contrast actually <laughs> anyway so anything that you really are after i might be able to do as someone who also uses si paint or si paint or whatever it's called I can, I'll be maybe doing some tutorials with that and comparing that with Photoshop or Photoshop CS, the Creative Studio CS series, compared to elements and what tools can be done in, in both. So just let me know what you guys would like and I'll see what I can do. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.